What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the best Canadian children's shows. The shows that we grew up watching. The shows that defined our childhood, that we still have an unreasonable amount of nostalgia towards, that'll never quite go away. Because it's the stuff we watched growing up as kids. We loved it. And uh, it's the stuff you kind of never forget. And kids' shows, what kids' shows you were watching when you were growing up, that's defined by how old you are and where in the world you are, I suppose. So as in a little American growing up in the 90s, basically, I was watching Barney the Dinosaur, Blue's Clues, Rugrats, maybe a little Spongebob here and there. Maybe a more, maybe more than a little between you and me, but I, I'd call that pretty typical kids programming for a, a child growing up in the '90s in America. And I know it's changed a bit as time has gone on. Got all these crazy new kids shows that aren't as good as the ones when I grew up. As I wag my finger at you, <laughs> so, and I'm sure the same is for Canada. You know, I'm sure some of these shows exist in Canada as well. Not exactly sure. Maybe I'll find out today. But I'm sure there's a lot of children's shows in Canada that never existed anywhere else. And that is also what I'm excited to learn about today. So let's take a look. On Reddit here, someone was asking, what is the best children's show in Canada's history? And I'd like to look at some of the responses. Number one, we have Mr. Dress Up. Mr. Dress Up? Never heard of him. I'll look it up, though. Mr. Dress Up is a Canadian children's television series starring Eddie Ernie Coombs, a former understudy of Fred Rogers in the title role. Wait, this is like Mr. Rogers? Or I can make this a little bigger. Hold on a sec. Um, Mr. Dress Up, Canadian children's television series. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can look a clip up or something. Maybe that would be helpful. Mr. Dress Up theme song? Animated opening. Huh. No, I just want Mr. Dress Up. Is this a cartoon or? No, no, he was Mr. Rogers understudy. He looks like Mr. Rogers. Episode part one, 1986. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, bird. Thank you, boy. You're welcome. No, I thank think I'd better go in and take this. This is Mr. Rogers. Things Wait, he's dressing up. <laughs> he's also dressing up like a dinosaur. The puppets, the the fantasy land, the sort of home office. Tummy glass. Just tuck it in like that. Oh, is he called Mr. Dress Up because he dresses up like stuff? Like a dinosaur? Yeah. He looks very friendly. He really does remind me of Mr. Rogers. Like, wow. And guess what that might be? What do we get that comes from chickens at the market? Some eggs. Right. Oh, yeah, some eggs. I, I, I kind of got lost there watching the show. I was like, I don't know, Mr. Dress Up. What do we get from chickens? Oh, eggs. Yay. I would have watched the heck out of that growing up. Mr. Dress Up. Okay. Cool. Friendly Giant. Close second. Friendly Giant? Friendly Giant. Oh, there he is. The Friendly Giant. Um, Here we go. What is this? Friendly Giant Music of the World? Friendly Giant Series TV. Is he supposed to be a giant? He looks kind of like a normal guy to me. <laughs> Sorry to spoil anyone uh, who watched this growing up, but I think he might actually just be a, a guy. Well, I'm sorry. The Friendly Giant was a children's television program aired on the CBC television in 1958 through 1985. There's a classic for you. Wow. Um, 3,000 episodes, my goodness. Gracious. Wait, wait, there's a little picture here of him being a giant. I think. <laughs> yeah, look, see his hand. If I can make this a little bigger. Look, he's reaching into a, he's so enormous. Maybe he is a giant. How else would his hand be bigger than a chair? Bigger than a room? Okay. <laughs> Cool. Friendly Giant. Very good. Okay, we got Mr. Dress Up and the Friendly Giant. Uh, stuff I've never heard of before for sure. So perfect. The Raccoons. Is that just the name of the show? 
Okay. The Raccoons, starring... Oh, wow, it comes right up. That That's the first result. The Raccoons is a Canadian animated television series that ran on CBC from 1985 to 1991 in Canada on the Disney Channel. I've never heard of this. The Raccoons. Um, the adventures of Bert, Melissa, Ralph, and Cedric as they battle evil businessmen. Cyril Sneer? Cyril Sneer? Oh, is there some pictures? It's an animated show, huh? Huh. I keep visualizing real raccoons. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is fun. Well, I've never seen these characters before. So it's just, it's raccoons. It's a, it's a little cartoon show based on raccoons. Not these raccoons. <laughs> but these raccoons. Okay, cool. The raccoons. That was a Sunday night favorite in our house. Nice. Nice. Uh, the Elephant Show. The Elephant Show. Never heard of that. Children's TV series, yes. Is a Canadian preschool television show. The series premiered on CBC on October 8th, 1984 to 1989. 65 episodes. Um, gosh. The Elephant Show, with a name like that, what exactly happened? Uh, Skinnamarink? <laughs> Do I want to watch this, him sing skin, Skinnamarink? Maybe. Skinnamarink, dinky dinky dink, Skinnamarink, do. I love you. Wow. I never watched this show, but somehow that just takes me back. I do not think I'm going to watch a 10 minute loop of that. Oh, oh, here we go. The Elephant Show song compilation. Was there a lot of singing in this? We're going to listen and you all sing it. You know okay. Oh. Some extreme jump roping. Very nice. Is there elephants in the... Uh, yes! There he is! An elephant! This is called the elephant show. I was like, are there elephants in this thing? Here we have another. Okay. 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 Can't spend all day doing that. The elephant show. So that's a live action show with real people and someone dressed up as an elephant. Or maybe that was a real dancing elephant. You never know. <laughs> All right, next we have Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Elephant show. Oh, this is another elephant show. Is this the main people? Sharon, Lois, and Bram and the elephant? Yeah, elephant show again. This was well past my childhood, but my kid watched it all the time. Uh, when was the elephant show? Um, ooh, when was that broadcasting again? 1984 to 89. Okay. Um, my daughter is about 10 months old. While I'm giving her a bath, I'll sing the song they used to sing at the end of the show. Nice. I feel like I feel like all parents end up doing something like that with shows that don't exist anymore. Shows from their childhood when they were growing up. You got to keep them alive somehow. The memory of the shows, the, chi the kids' shows we watched. I don't think I can choose one. Mr. Dress Up, Friendly Giant, The Elephant Show, The Raccoons. I know, th I know these shows. I know these shows. All right, because <laughs> I just learned about them. Uh, we also have Fred Penner's Place. Fred Penner's Place is a Canadian children's musical television series. A lot of musicals going on in Canada. A lot of, ki I mean, I guess a lot of kids' shows are musical, aren't they? Especially older ones. That was nice, huh? I don't know if there's a lot of musical kids shows that are modern, like new ones coming out. Some can't quite capture the magic like they used to. Uh, musical TV series that aired on CBC from 1985 to 1997. Fred Penner's Place. Hmm, is there a clip? Here's the intro. See if I can make this bigger. There we go. Fred Penner? Oh, is that Fred? What's he doing? What's, what? Why'd he put that in there? What? What's going on? Ooh. Is this Fred Penner's place? Hi. It's good to see you. How are you good. today? Are you feeling fit good. and fine? 
fit and fine. I guess, since you mention it. That's where they block off the ends of the... He also plays guitar? Ah, here we go. In New York City. Oh. All we need is music. Sweet me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, like, this is the kind of stuff you just don't get anymore. Fred Penner's Place, 1988. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Danger Bay? For older kids? Danger Bay, 1984. Produced in Vancouver. What was... This sounds like a drama or something. Danger Bay? <laughs> uh, oh, what do we have here? Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Um, it was on the uh, Disney Channel later on. Oh, it was in the United States as well, 1984. Oh, here we go. The series followed the exploits of the Roberts family. Marine veterinarian Grant Doc Roberts and his children, Nicole and Jonah. Nearly every episode featured the Vancouver Aquarium. Most episodes focused on environmental issues like pollution, wildlife endangerment, forest preservation. Nice. Nice. And Dudley the Dragon. Dudley the Dragon. The Adventures of Dudley the Dragon. This sounds like something I would have watched. Uh... A lovable, innocent, happy-go-lucky green dragon. <laughs> yes! 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 Oh, yeah. Dudley the Dragon. Oh, man. You can even get season one on Amazon. Isn't the future great? <laughs> Dudley wakes up from centuries of hibernation and befriends Sally and Matt. Cool. See if we have a clip here. Can you walk like a dragon? Can you talk like a dragon? Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. No, I promised Grandpa Robin I wouldn't. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, is Dudley the dragon, like, cooking us alive right now? Oh, no, he'll be mad at me. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I cannot believe we watched some of this stuff as kids and didn't think anything of it. <laughs> like, I mean, that happens when you go back and watch Barney the dinosaur and you're like, that's a giant guy, that's a guy in a giant dinosaur outfit running around. And I, as a kid, I didn't think anything weird was going on. But that's kind of the magic of kids shows, right? They're supposed, they're like silly and otherworldly and kids just love it. It's kind of the... Oh, to be a ch to be a child again and be able to just enjoy Dudley the dragon instead of wondering who's in there cooking me alive. <laughs> Nothing more fun than giggle soup. Let's have some more. Yeah. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I like it. that is that is classic. That reminds me a lot of Barney the dinosaur. Uh, Dudley the dragon. <laughs> oh boy, what else do we got here? For older kids, Street Sense, Street Sense. It's a 1989 children's TV series um, directed at teenagers. Okay. Oh, this is not Degrassi. It's given me that kind of vibe, though. Street Sense. I'm not sure. Is there a synopsis? Is there a Wikipedia? Hmm. Um, man. I just want a little description of it. Street sense. Let's see, oh, here we go. Um, what's the plot? What's the plot? What do they do in this? The series was created, the show won several awards, lauded by critics. Um, the show promoted safety and ethics and action while empowering young people. Okay. Cool. Was this a reality show or scripted? Sneaky salesmen and various pigs and hedgehogs named after coins. Huh? What on earth? It's common segments. What's your beef? Uh, <laughs> viewers send letters, phone calls, and emails? So this was like a hosted show. Huh. Interesting. I don't think I fully get it, but interesting. Um, what else we got here? The Littlest Hobo? 
The Littlest Hobo. Yes, The Littlest Hobo is a Canadian television series based upon a 1958 well-known film of the same name. What is The Littlest Hobo? A homeless dog helps solve tough problems. Beautiful. Beautiful! I, I like these Canadian kids shows. Is the little hobo this dog? What's this dog? Does this dog need a home? What's he doing? <laughs> Look at him. Just walking around town, being a dog. Ah, oh, the littlest hobo. I almost want to, I, I kind of want to see a clip. How did they train this dog? Um, the littlest hobo? Or is this the movie? Oh, I don't want to accidentally do the movie. Oh, it's a TV series. No, no, the dog is there. The dog's there. Oh. Let me skip ahead. I thought I lost them. You didn't go to any of your classes. <laughs> this, this is much more dramatic than I ever imagined for a, a dog show. Just a dog being a dog. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> is I kind of I want a little bit of a description because I'm a bit confused. It, so it's a drama. That's what I'm missing here. Is this a kids show? Wait, this doesn't even seem like a kids show. Maybe it, it's like a dr kids drama with a dog, and they're on a boat. I think obviously there's a lot more to that, but for the sake of. Uh, Seeing what else is out there, I'm forced to move along. Friendly Giant. Ah, oh, yes, the Friendly Giant again. Yes, as a child growing up in Canada in the 70s or 80s, it was an amazing show to watch. However, I just watched some episodes with my son, and it was just bizarre. And a nostalgia aside, it was dry, dull, yet comforting. That is exactly the phenomenon I'm talking about when I was watching The Dragon or Barney. Like, you go back and you watch these shows you enjoyed as a kid, you loved as a kid, and you're like, man, these aren't quite as entertaining as when I was <laughs> a little child. But there's something oddly comforting and fun about it at the same time. And uh, I'm pleasantly surprised to say that not one show so far have I ever heard of. These are all purely Canadian kids shows. On the Riverbank Hammy Hamster. Okay. <laughs> That's all you gotta do to entertain me. Make a sh show about a hamster. Global TV Hammy's Hamster's Adventures? Is this a... Oh, where's the hamster? On the Riverbank. Down to fill the river with fresh, sparkling water. Um, well, I came for the hamster. The nature is nice. Oh, here we go. A quick look around. I, I think <laughs> I'm a dodo. A dodo? <laughs> he looks like a hamster. I've never seen you before. Well, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So they literally just filmed hamsters and dubbed in voices. On the riverbank, Hammy Hamster. Nice. Degrassi Junior High. Shout out. Also, kids of Degrassi. Yeah, that, honestly, that was, like, the one Canadian exposure I got, like, growing up at all, was Degrassi would sometimes be on. Good show. Dramatic. <laughs> Reboot? Reboot. Hmm. Reboot? Uh, Canada? Canada animated series? Wait, this was a Canadian show? Wait a minute. Reboot was a Canadian show. I watched this show quite a bit growing up. I'm a little stunned right now. Re yeah, yeah, this show. Yeah, yeah, this was right around when I was a kid. Hold the phone. Hold on. Skip ahead here. It's happening again. Oh, yeah. No promises, of course. Megabytes. I think that's his name. It's backslash delete trash. Log off. Enzo. Uh, Enzo. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it was like a completely, like, 3D-generated show. Uh, very different than cartoons. It was, like, probably one of the first of its kind to be, like, 3D-generated, 
uh, instead of being like a 2D cartoon like that. I had no idea that was a Canadian show. I had no idea. Wow. I guess I, I did watch a Canadian show growing up. I just never knew it. Oh my gosh. Um, Mr. Dress Up, Big Friendly Giant. Okay, so, and Mr. Dress Up or the Polka Dot Door. Polka Dot Door. I'm seeing a lot of Mr. Dress Up and Big Friendly Giants. I'm, I'm guessing those are very popular. Polka Dot Door is a Canadian children's series which was produced. Is there a Polka Dot Door? <laughs> Polka Dot Door, full episode. Okay, let's check it out. Story than so much more Through the polka dot door Oh, the polka dot door indeed. Oh, it's not a cartoon. This is this is real life. Okay. Oh my goodness. I mean, this remind this does remind me of some shows growing up. Uh, I was watching a lot of Nickelodeon, and there was it's either the shows were a cartoon. Or it was performed, like, live by adults, like, who were doing kind of silly, childish things. And it's kind of funny to look at uh, as an adult, isn't it? I just don't know where all this dust comes from. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, look at this. Everything's so overemphasized. Oh, man. I love it. Oh, man. I think you're the first to say polka dot door. Yeah. Yeah, polka dot door. Um, the big comfy couch I've heard of. That that was in America as well. Big comfy couch. Um, popular mechanics for kids. Popular mechanics for kids. Does this teach you about mechanics? Eleven seasons, nineteen ninety seven. A Canadian educational program based on Popular Mechanics magazine. Dang. Learn about science and technology. This is, I could have used this desperately. This this was way over my head. <laughs> Props to any kids out there who watched Popular Mechanics for Kids and was actually getting educated. I was just watching dinosaurs and, and dr people in dragon outfits dance around. Oh, oh, sheesh. Okay, but that honestly, that's great. Educational TV, TV program. Oh man, this is good. This is very good. I feel like there is at least 10 or 15 shows I learned about here. Uh, purely Canadian, except for Reboot. Apparently, well, no, that's Canadian. It was just shown in America when I was growing up. Yeah, man. But besides that, all shows I'd never heard of, never seen before, and I imagine uh, are very nostalgic for many Canadians and like has a special place in a lot of Canadians' hearts based on those shows, but the the vibe, the feeling, the nostalgic feeling that those create is like, there's something about kids' shows where even though I'd never seen any of those, it made me like remember or get that same feeling of watching a show I like that I watched growing up. Something about kids' shows do that. There's something magical uh, about it. So I enjoyed this. Uh, I really... Uh, didn't realize there were so many amazing Canadian kids shows that I'd never heard of. So this was good. I, I was entertained, even as an adult. So very good. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada, Canadian culture, stuff in Canada that I have never seen before or learned about, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.